There's my wife in her happiest place. My wife loves the beach more than anything else. Good morning, from Castaway Key. Look who's waiting. It's Daisy Duck. It's Daisy. Do you want to go meet her? Should we go meet her? All right, Rue. You want to go say hi? Hi, Daisy. But she's asking you to do a little twirl. Do a twirl. Do a twirl. Here we go. You want to take a picture? One, two, three. Oh my gosh, the dream is huge. So big. Y'all, look at how blue this water is. It's so pretty. It's a post office. Look, Lon, it's a post office. I think this is our other one over Whoa, there. Oh, baby! Were you slamming cool. it? Yeah, this one. There's Phil. Hello. Come on, Rue. Hey, ladies. Hello. Hello. Happy beach day. This is sick. This is Come so on, Rue. Do you see her? My princess. Do you see her, babe? There she is. Hello. See, Ooh, they put a crib in for Rosie. Little tour of Cabana number three. They put your names right here. So you walk up. It's a little walking mat. Walk up. All right. So you open right here. There's like a little safe, some towels, and some storage. Here is a, like a great little table. Here is hey, if you want to go down some to more towels, a little trash mommy. can. Let's let's check out here for a second. Here's some snacks hey, right some here. Chips? Snacks, some plates, more towels stocked with fruit, drinks, and also some water. Obviously, that's 
included in a drink. Here is a little button you can press if you need some help with anything or if you need something. And then here is the actual like space. Now we requested to put a crib in for Rosie. So there is a crib for Rosie in case she wants to take a little nap. And then also some more storage. Here is some light reading it looks like. <laughs> light reading. And obviously some open air windows. And while there aren't any bathrooms in here, there is this curtain that you can pull around in case you want to change. Not too shabby for Leanne. Here is, you got to show your dad this. Not too shabby at all. <laughs> here is some more. Look, and and then the Ruthie is already like in. Look at the view of the boat. Yep. I feel like I need to include that there is also sunscreen. Left by Coppertone and <coughs> Disney Cruise Line, which I missed before and I saw after. Yep. View of the boat is just unreal. See, do you see that play area that looks like Typhoon Lagoon? Yeah. I'm going to have to go over there later. Okay, and then we look here. We've got a hammock, and then it walks down to a private beach. Now, the beach is only for Cabana guests. So anybody who rented a cabana gets to have the private beach. And then you see it's roped off. This is just our private beach right here. Roped off for us with lots of lounge chairs and I think those are boogie boards. Boogie boards or like laying boards, some nice umbrella shelter this and then if you look see it's roped off and then everybody else who wants to come and enjoy the beaches there and cabana guests are here there's a lifeguard way over there <clears throat> so see we are in three and two and two is they also have a nice little shower if you can see that from here I will walk you over there there is nice little fresh water showers right here. And then cabana number two is not very different. It is very similar. Look here. Um, and they have some nice music playing. And then here is the drink menu. You can order drinks. And it looks like this is probably some sort of, yeah, music. So you can pack. This is the music selection. The only real big difference is the actual entryway. So you saw that we entered number three on the side. Number two just enters from the front. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of the cabana. So here is the cabana entrance. Here is the food. Getting a bunch of food for my fam bam. And we're in like a really easy spot, luckily. So let's get some food. Susie, what'd you get? I got I Captain's Mai Tai. Yum. Yes, I, I got you the corn. This corn's for you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Bon voyage. It's the perfect amount of fruit. Coconut, it's perfect. And then we got food, so we were able to get some bunless burgers because we're gluten free. A pile of everything basically. We got this for Ruthie, hot dogs, we got corn, tomato, everything. So good. So we're playing on the island. There's my wife in her happiest place. My wife loves the beach more than anything else. And the beach with her kids is pretty much dreams come true. And there's my Rudy Toots. This is where the coconuts are. What is this one now? Coconuts. We are headed into the little splash pad area that's close to us. Right. There. It's like a really good, cute 
Stop. It is called a Let It Go. Yeah, it's going to pumpkin. Nice. Okay. Hey. Hey. It's pirate night. Look what I got. Are you I forgot all my contacts. I don't know if I already told you, but I forgot all my contacts, so we're wearing glasses and not been doing my makeup. But Ruthie, who are you? She's Tinkerbell. There are her wings, but they're probably not. How's your ankle? It's like <laughs> Leanne hurt her ankle. Long history of ankle problems, so when I roll it, it hurts. Mama got a little boo-boo. It's a okay. And then Rosie is dressed as a mermaid from the Mermaid Lagoon. Leanne's Captain Hook. I was gonna be out oh, right here. here we go. I was gonna be in. Wendy, but my costume didn't turn out oh. great. So by no Wait, fault of anyone. Look at Donald. Oh my gosh, Donald. So we are in Artist Palette for Pirate Night. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. And I've already taken a bite of my jerk chicken, which is so good. I'm finding like, so I'm not a huge chicken person, but the chicken dishes are really, really good. Like last night's chicken was heavy. So I'm thinking the chicken is better than the beef, and I'm usually like a beef person. My kids are so tired. <laughs> You've got Sleepy Rosie, Sleepy Ruthie, but Leanne also got the jerk chicken. Yeah. You don't want it? Okay, I have no idea what it is, but wait, here's the menu. Mine's like. Yours looks like some sort of crumble. It is, it's a crumble. Is it good? It's got like a tart. And I don't know what mine is. Mine looks like maybe a flan or something. If I knew what a flan was. Kids are asleep, and there are tacos. Going to get tacos. Tacos. Hoping to have not missed the fireworks. I don't think I missed them. Still here. Leanna's now 
doing the laundry. But gotta be honest, I was on the fence about a Disney cruise. And there are a lot of things. I think the number one thing I would need to change about if I were gonna tell anybody going on the first Disney cruise is like change your expectation for how much you're gonna get done because you're gonna feel like you got nothing done. And I truly feel that. I just like, I feel like I haven't done anything. There's literally so much to do that like you have to be okay with the fact that you're not gonna like even scratch the surface of everything you can do on a Disney cruise. Because there's like 10, thousand things happening simultaneously and I just feel like oh my gosh I've done nothing <laughs> so on that note I love it I want to go on another one I want to go on a longer one and <clears throat> I definitely want to sail out of California so that I can be in my time zone that's the really hard part I mean, I know I talk about time zones all the time, but like really three hours is a big difference, especially when you're just trying to like have a week's vacation. I find myself extremely tired all the time because I'm just not used to it. You have to understand, like if I want to wake up for a sunrise at 7 a.m., that's 4 a.m. in California, and then just trying to stay up late, it's, it's too much, honestly. On that note, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.